and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody? Welcome to this video. Happy Black History Month people again. I'm coming back at you guys with this video. Putting out some new content, some new rants. Now, has another topic to talk about. Another rant real quick from the follow up with this fake pro-black video that I just did. Is fuck Tariq Nasheed. And yes, I'm seeing it. Now, I've been following Tariq Nasheed for a while. I followed him last year. I was kind of put on to him actually in 20, late 2014 going into 2015. I, I thought this brother was a good brother. I didn't do too much research because I was trying to give this black man a chance. So I watched some of his videos, I listened to his shows, and I still do. But one thing that he said recently that disturbed me was the Powerball. Now, there's been other things that Tariq has said that's disturbed me also. Every time, he, he reminds me of a slick-talking minister. Reminds me of a slick-talking minister when you listen to Tariq Nasheed. Because every word that comes out of his mouth is money, money, money. You know, if you got the money down, you fly me in, and I'm going to uh, fuck with you, basically, as he's saying. He talks like a pimp, and he talks like a slick-talking minister. And I'm like, okay, where's your activism for the black people? Now, I, be, I agree with a lot of stuff that he says up until a point where he says that if people want to see him, then they got to pay him. Now, the black community is poor. A lot of the black people are poor that may want to see him. And they may not can afford his fees to go and see Tariq Nasheed. So Tariq is telling poor black people, if you don't have the money, fuck you. That's basically what he's saying, is that if you don't have the money. So, recently, he did a show. And on his show, he says that, hey, if you got money, that, you know, oh, no. He said if he won the Powerball, you know, he would go to the Bahamas. Everybody kiss his black ass. He's going to go to the Bahamas, and he's going to do what the fuck he want to do. Now, you would think that a person that loves his people, the first thing that he would say is, you know, when I get my money, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to help Brother Umar to create his school. I'm going to help this black uh, hospital, black children's hospital. I'm going to give to the homeless. I'm going to give to uh, more poli black police officers in the community. You didn't hear none of this from this nigga. This nigga says that he's going to go to the fucking Bahamas. And he sounded like a he lost my respect right then and there. No lie, Tariq lost my respect. Now, I'm not saying he's perfect, but that was bullshit. And then some of the other things he was saying about, you know, if you want to hear me speak, you got to have money up front. So he's telling his own people, he, he's, he's pimping black people. That's basically what he's doing, he's pimping black people. I know, I, I'm, not, I'm not, again, I'm for money. Don't get it twisted. I'm f I know money helps things a little bit. I do know that money is, you know, it helps to provide certain things and I agree with them to an extent because everything is run by money this is a capitalistic country I know he's having a business but I'm sorry he's not on no activist shit that's not activism when you try to force at least for Omar he's taking the money for a good benefit this man here is saying I, I need money just to talk to you guys I don't I, I fucking don't need you or uh, Tariq to come to Northern California, really. I could go listen to a minister. I could listen to Al Sharpton for free if I want to. Or Tavis Smiley. I don't need your ass. You're not saying nothing that I couldn't say at a, at a rally. So that's just reality right there. So once he said that black people could kiss his ass and I'm going to go to vacation, they have to say, fuck this nigga. Because he's only in it for his light-skinned woman. And he's only in it for himself and how he looks and perceived. And he's not really doing nothing for brothers and sisters out there. I give him this. He's an entertainer. I give him that part. He, he, he can entertain. And he says some good stuff. So I'm not trying to discourage other black people from listening to him. This is just Kelly Guy's opinion about this guy. He, he's an asshole. And again, I'm not saying he's, he's not a coon. He's a fucking asshole. I'm not calling Tariq that either. But I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad. But I really don't care. I'm just giving the thought out of what he's saying. He's saying, like, if you don't have the money, black community, then you guys can kiss my black ass, basically. And to be honest with you, black people are very poor in this country. Not every black person in this country is wealthy like his ass. So, that's something to think about, people. Make your own mind up. Like and share this 
uh, video and think about what I'm saying. Peace out.